it has come to my attention that South Park, the fractured butthole, has been delayed. It, it, it's been delayed to next year. Unfortunately, I, 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 don't, I don't know why, <clears throat> but it's been delayed. It had like a December 2nd release date. So I'm, I'm a little bit weirded out by it having like a set in stone release date and, uh, and having it just initially be released now since it was delayed in 2017. Um, I, I would assume that it would be released in the first quarter Hopefully around Marches, Mar Marches. Hopefully around March ish, so that way uh, th they get the game released really soon. Because Advanced War, not Advanced Warfare, whatever. Uh, what, what is it? Uh, Tom Clancy's The Wildlands is gonna be out uh, out around March or out around uh, spring break. Excuse me. So I kind of want it to be released around there, so that way something good is going to be produced by Ubisoft that month. But this this doesn't really have me worried. It more along the lines makes me a little bit cautious and hopefully optimistic. As you know, a lot of Ubisoft games are being pushed back. Uh, Assassin's Creed, Far Cry, and, and not even before those two games, Watch Dogs was a very great example of a game that was pushed back and had lackluster results because of that delay because of that pushback and unfortunately it's kind of set up the uh the mediocrity that is known or that ubisoft is now known for and even below mediocrity in some cases so the delay isn't really that important it's just the consistent delay of games like is for honor for example a game that i mentioned that is going to be that that seems good and it's from ubisoft is that game going to also be uh delayed because i was hoping that this game was going to come out this year because i i really do think that <clears throat> if they tweaked some things on the game that it could compete with with, uh, with some games for the game of the year this year. The only real competition that I would say the game had or has is Uncharted 4. And even then, it's probably going to lose. Most games are probably going to lose to that game. But it it's a little bit disappointing to see it being delayed. But I'm hoping it's because that it's going to be good. That's it for today not gonna get angry at Ubisoft. I'm not gonna yell, I'm not gonna curse, not today. Primarily because it's nine o'clock and I need to do some homework. But it's a little bit disappointing. It's more, dis it's, <coughs> it's disappointing uh, in, in the sense that we won't get, be able to get to play the game. Now, what I'm expecting for uh, uh, for South Park, the fractured butthole, I don't think it's going to come out in January or February. I don't think so at all. Uh, and if it does, then really some of the main competition for, for it during those months <clears throat> is Persona 5. Like, the reason why I want it to be released in March is because the only competition or one of the biggest competitors that it's going up against is Wildlands. It looks like a pretty bad game. Shouldn't say bad, should say mediocre. But it, if it comes out, if it comes out after March, that kind of tells me that something went wrong. Something went wrong, and they need more development time because they released. They didn't release it. They they showed a trailer. Just te they showed a teaser trailer of it last year, and it was very short. It was kind of just you know just talking about the game. There wasn't really a lot of gameplay this year. There's a lot of gameplay. So it it looked finished, it looked polished, it looked like the Stick of Truth and the TV show. But uh, it's made me cautious about the game. I don't think it's going to turn out bad, but if if it was for any other company, if, if this delay was for any other company besides Ubisoft, I would be like, all right, this, this game needs more development time. Like, look what CD Projekt did with The Witcher 3. A lot of good stuff came out of that delay. Unfortunately, the uh, the game did ha suffer a, a graphics downgrade, but it it's Ubisoft, 
and Ubisoft is not known for ha for delaying a game and having it come out more polished because of that delay, especially in recent years. So I'm going to say I'm a little bit cautious about this game, specifically because it's Ubisoft, but at the same time, it it doesn't look like a Ubisoft property. It looks like it's just from Matt Parker and Trey Stone. And I pray to God every night that Ubisoft doesn't fuck it up. Because if, if they do, oh, I, I'm, I'm pretty much done with the company already. I'll, I'll, I'll just crucify the company at that point if, if, they, if they screw up South Park, the fractured butthole. But that's all today. It's not going to be a long video. This has been 24. Remember to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe for more. I'm hopelessly optimistic about this game. It looks like one of the better games from Ubisoft next year. But uh, we'll see. We'll see in the coming weeks what uh, what Ubisoft or uh, not Ubisoft will have to say about the game. But if the game gets an initial release date, what is going to happen with the game or just some of the uh, some of the games that are going to be released in November because I'm kind of tired of Broketober because Mafia 3 kind of disappointed me. And I'll make a video about that tomorrow. But until then, have a fantastic afternoon evening, morning, whatever. I'll see you tomorrow for my disappointment on Mafia 3. I'm not excited. I'm not excited at all. Have a fantastic night.